all right guys welcome back so uh where we left off we had to find someone to fix the bridge now while we were all gone i figured out that i shouldn't make another furnace right so i tore down the one i built and i built the second one as you can see i planted more seeds yep got my farm growing uh and i made another workbench so right now in early access whatever you built can't be moved so wherever you put it it's placed there and the only way to move it is for you to destroy it and then build another one now don't worry you get your materials back but i just want to let you guys know that so wherever you put it try to plan out your farm to where you don't have to destroy it but i mean if you do in any case you just rebuild it you get all materials back another thing is if you walk over here i knew there was a lake but i kept walking because i was really confused are these frogs they are frogs. Can I catch them? No. Dang. But yeah, anyways, uh, if you come over here, there's a cave. And in this cave is where you get all your ores. So I was really confused. I'm like, there has to be a mine, quarry, or whatever somewhere for me to get these ores. But as you can see with these little rocks here, go ahead and mine them up. Boom. Copper, red ore, and iron ore. Give me all three. So I guess you just come in here and mine a little bit. Yep. Give me all my ores. All the ores I needed. And then, also what I found out is that the skill system in this game is a little bit different. So we go over to my skills here. It's a star system. So the more you do something, the more experience you'll earn, and then the more stars you gain. So right here, farming. First star. I can build a chicken coop. That's what I unlock. Second star, I can build a barn for cows and sheep and a basic sprinkler. You know, for mining, I can craft ingots, my first star. I'm on a second star, which means now I unlock the ore processor. And I have a chance of uh, finding colorful ores by 10%. You know, stuff like that. So, if you want to do something, like if you want to advance to something, you have to do a lot of it. So, obviously, I want a sprinkler for farming but i need to get it up to two stars well the only way to do that is to farm more same thing for mining i feel like forging is the easiest because i mean if you're always gathering stuff you get this up real quick exploration you just got to run around and then crafting seems pretty easy because you're always going to be crafting stuff so once i figured that out i'm like okay so the game is pretty straightforward so i'm just going to come in here and mine like I said, the only thing is you kind of want to craft more than one facility because it does take time for your uh, inventions to create. And the lo I mean, the more you want to create at one time, the longer it takes. So, like, of course, if you're creating one or two, yeah, it take a, a few seconds. But if you want to create like, I don't know, let's say like 15, then yeah, it's going to take time. And unfortunately, this isn't like my time in Sand Rock or uh, Stardew Valley where even though it's not done fully creating all the ones you want um you can get like whichever ones are done so i'll give you an example right here i'm making i'm making firewood in one of my workbenches right now so let me run over there and as you can see is that look is that 57 percent i have to wait till it's finished because i'm making 201 firewood so I guess the best bet is to make like a little bit at a time. That way you don't have to wait. It's all good though. So let's go ahead, put these ores in here. Iron ore, I got gold ore now. Stone I'll keep on me. There we go. No, not grass, wood, put you in there. in there all right also what i found out is that most of your money is going to come from selling things so there is a local shop that opens up every day at 9 a.m you know you just go to that guy and yeah he said he buys your crops on the low which i guess is on the low but it seems pretty generous to me because i harvested 12 cauliflowers and he gave me about 93 coins 
I was like, eh. I'm like, is that low or is it not? Because it seems pretty nice. Right now, I'm at 300 and something up in this uh, top right corner, but only because I had a whole bunch of grass or a whole bunch of fiber. I sold them like, what? Each fiber, one fiber is for $1, right? So I sold them 300 fiber. He gave me $300. So I was like, okay, that's pretty nice, actually. I don't see anything wrong with that. It doesn't seem like it's for the low. And then I need to go back to the town because I need to find someone that can fix this pier. I have yet to find that person. So let's see if I can find that person right now. Like I said, it's a pretty chill game, guys. Nice game. You know, you spend all day at work. You just want to come home, relax. You don't want to play anything too competitive. You just like, hmm, I don't have Animal Crossing. What else can I play? Oh, you can play Spirit of the Island. Run past the old man. All right, let's go this way. Let's see, any NPCs around? So I found out that this old lady's the mayor. No, I didn't find the books. They like said she said that whole quest line is optional. What is this? He said he needs a few items for his workshop. I need one silver ore, an iron bucket, and a pack of screws. Yeah, I got you. Is there a time limit? Three three days okay and then I'll get five XP two relationship points with Tony and 53 coins mm, not bad I do know that there's a pier at the bottom of the town so that's where I'm gonna go let's see if maybe there's an NPC waiting there for me to talk to let's go to the pier I hear some NPCs. Oh yeah, it's these two guys again. Good day. Time for fish. You can take some bait to catch some. You have a, you have to see as your companion. Fishing is very relaxing. Hmm. What was I was going to say? Ah yes. Well, it's perfectly possible to learn to fish alone. For example, I had to go through this. But if you need any help, just look for me. I would love to talk more, but I need to prepare myself for next fishing. So fish only uh, appear at specific times. Okay. Hey, Tree Far, good to see you again. My bar is a perfect place to rest after a long day at work. Feel free to come by. If you need anything, just call me. Thank you. And if people said, if the people said it was even better, haha. <laughs> Before my bar was particularly crowded, but after the pirates appeared, the tourists were scared and left. Who knows? Maybe you can't help resolve the situation. Okay, so they didn't really help me. I mean, I got relationship points, but they didn't really help me. I want to fix this pier. In order to fix the pier, I need to find NPC that help me fix the pier. So on the map, I seen the captain over here. So maybe the captain to help me fix the pier. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, uh, what? You have a pier for boats that is all messed up. You need someone to fix it. Yes, that's correct. I'm not sure I would be able to do that, but since it's near my property, it should be useful. Ah, uh, yes, I can help for sure. I build boats, but I also fix piers and cannon towers. Ha! <laughs> I think I saw this pier that you mentioned when I was walking around. And it's good because I can help to attract more tourists, right? Well, I will need some materials. And after I fix that, maybe I will ask you for a few things. So, <laughs> we are done. Get the materials, bring them back to me. Here's a list. All right, cool. So, I did find the guy. Uh, let's see. I say, where's the quest though? Okay. He needs 30 wood plates, 10 pack of nails, five duct tape and five rope. Say less. I got you. I can make all that stuff. It's going to take time, but I can make all that stuff. Everything. Who is this? A Girl Scout? Hmm. Hey, I'm Tree Frog. With all due respect, what do you want? What do you want me to talk about exactly? My name is Elsa. 
I don't like talking too much. And I still barely know you to talk with you. So I'm going to go. <laughs> that's funny. But that's a real response, though. That's like a normal human being response. Someone walks up to you. Hey, what's up? It's like, hmm. I mean, what do you want me to say, really? I don't know you. Hi, back, I guess. <laughs> okay, bye now. <laughs> um, I'm kind of lost. Oh, here we go. I found my way back. Let's go make those materials. Let's try and get this pier fixed. Running, 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 running. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do a time skip to where I have these materials. So let me do that. All right, guys, I am back and I have the materials. Let's go talk to the captain. There we go. Hey, you are back. Did you get all the items? Yes, I did. Yay, everything. I have everything here. I'll start working on the soon. Go to your home, get some rest. Probably see you the next day. Sweet. So hopefully tomorrow in game, I'll go ahead and have me appear. Let me make a start making a boat. Can I hit these? Oh, I can. I don't know. So walking into this town, like in the first episode, it says don't cut down any any trees or don't forage or gather in the town. But I feel like I can be able to see. I mean, nothing happens. If anything, I'm cleaning up the town. I don't want to destroy all the rocks though, because it adds aesthetic. Same thing with the trees. Okay, so let's head back to the farm. Do, 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 do. I already sold a few vegetables that I had to sell. So I'm gonna do, do some more work around the farm and then, like right now, look at all this grass. It just bothered me. Want me to mow your lawn for you? I got you. Look at that. Who wants all this grass around? Oh, forging skill improved. You don't want all this grass around. I mean, obviously. Okay, I can't hit. What is this? Can I interact with it? Oh, cherries. Nice. I just took someone's cherries, but mm, they should be all right. Oh, my stamina is a little low. Got to catch my breath. If we start sprinting again. I'm excited for this pier. I'm excited to start building a boat because obviously we can sail to all these islands. I guess these islands will be made available as they update the game a little bit more. But look at all this. You can. Well, of course, it's mine. Look at all this that you can explore. All of this. So, yeah, I'm ready. I'm prepared. Besides, I want to start crafting more facilities and it requires certain materials. That I'm still not sure how to get like batteries, electrical wires, circuits. I'm pretty sure I have to sell the different items to get those materials. What I'm going to be fighting exactly, mm, I'm not too sure. She, the little mayor, she was like, hey, there's pirates on every island. So I'm guessing that certain pirates have certain materials, but we will find out. Look at my little farm looking beautiful. Oh, I need to eat. And I need to drink some water. There we go. Put my crops in here. Put my ores in there. wood I could however let's see yeah see I need to find oil for a gasoline for a gas can I need to find fertilizer I just need wheat so I just have to plant some wheat here we go silver ingots that I give I can upgrade my uh, tools and gold okay and then as far as facilities go, I want to build a combat bench. So I need 10 iron ingots and one more pack of nails. Huh, I think I can make that right now, actually. The iron ingots I have. 
but I need another pack of nails. Oh wait, no I don't. I have it all right here. Combat workbench. I'll be out there. Okay, basic stove, I need 20 bricks. So I can start cooking. Bricks, I just want 20. Which requires stone and firewood, say less, cool. Let's see, what can I make out of the combat workbench? Yep, swords, okay. Oh, what? Oh, my combat needs to be level one. But how am I supposed to fight in combat if I don't have anything to fight yet? I guess that's when, so I need to sell, hit people with my machete, and then I can come back and uh, basically <laughs> make swords, it'd be better. Okay, so like right here, I need electrical wire and battery for an ore processor. I have no idea how to get that. Ooh, a water pump, I can make that. I can pump water into empty bottles. Well, I have a lake though, so do I really need a water pump? Ooh, a power, a power generator. There's a lot of stuff to this game. Look, I wanna, there's avocado trees, jubilee trees, sprinklers. I can start building roads and stalls. All right, let's go ahead and sleep. So we can see what she has to say about this pier. Eight hours, here we go. All right, so the pier looks like it's done. My plants are ready. Well, my vegetables are ready, yep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, so lovely. Okay, let's go find this pier. Can I see it on the map? Oh, it's right here. And then since it's fixed, I can go about building a boat. You gotta run, 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 run. There's my beat up boat right over there. <laughs> oh, there's a, someone's having a beach party. And here we go, the pier, it is nice and built. But no one's here, probably cause it's three in the morning. So I have to wait. Oh, what is this? Oh, I don't have a boat. Okay, so this is how I use a sail. Manage your boat here. Every island will have a pier similar to this. Talk to the captain and buy boats. Okay. So I got to find the captain so I can buy a boat. But how expensive is a boat? I'm pretty sure I'm going to need quite a bit of monies. Right now I'm sitting at a thousand. What's down here? What it? <gasps> there are animals. Chop. Oh, whoa. Chop, chop. Whoa, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Careful now, careful. Yo. I'm about to have crab legs tonight. Yeah. What did I just get? Okay, I got a shell. It's worth $20? This is not really a shell from a crab. They sometimes carry this for fun. You can probably use it for decoration. But $20 per shell, really? That's nice. Uh, Let's see, what else I got? Crab legs, $30. Well, crab, you know, seafood's expensive, so <laughs> that's not surprising. Piece of treasure paper. This is an annotation for a treasure. Get more and craft a treasure map. Okay, so I wanna keep these. But the crab legs and stuff, I can go ahead and sell. Like I said, seafood is very expensive. So, you know, I'm really not surprised. <laughs> $30 per crab leg. It sounds about right. You try to eat seafood now, it's the same thing. What is this? History house. Learn about our history. Oh, so basically a museum that I need to put stuff in. 
So if I put a machete in here, I will lose the item. Okay, so I need to make another machete. So it's basically a museum. I just know that if I put something in there, I lost it and I just gotta create another one. That's fine though. All right, let's go back. And I wanna do some more foraging. How much space do I have? Put you in here, put you in here. Don't need you or you. I'm gonna have to build bigger chests. I'm gonna go ahead and sell this, but he's not open till like nine. So for right now, let me go forge. Oh wait, my bricks are done. What did I make bricks for again? I think I made it for the uh, oven. Oh yeah, basic stove. I need four wooden plates. I have that. Oh, that's really all I have. <laughs> all right, basic stove. Like I said, wherever I put it, hold on. Can I put it in my house? Let me see there. I can't. Boom. Basic stove in the house. I can make sliced fruits. Yeah, make that sliced fruits. Oh, okay, so here's where the food lover comes into. I can start creating my own food. Let's go. Thank you. Sliced fruits. What else can I make? Nothing. Oh, so this is how you make oil. So I need two fat and I need an empty water bottle. I have fat and I have empty water bottles. Well, I had empty water bottles. So what does sliced fruit do? Okay, stores my hunger by 30%. That's not bad. Let's go into town. And we'll sell a few things. And then we're going to go to the captain to see about buying a boat. See how much we actually really need. This grass has been bothering me for a while. So let me get rid of this. Hey, like, why is there grass on the bridge? Okay. Yeah, guys, I can't wait to start selling and be pirates. We could be pirates. All right, running, 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 running. We need to get to the town. It's still pretty early, though. I don't think anything really opens till nine. Oh wait, hold on. I see the captain right there on my map. Yo. Hey, 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 a new face. Hello there. What? I already met you. By the way, if you need a boat, come talk to me. I can build smaller big boats. I just need materials. Maybe you can come back later or some other day and I'll tell you what I need to build a boat. No, you're gonna tell me today. Tell me today. Okay. 3,000, 30,000, 60,000. Wow. So the smallest boat is the iron boat, which costs 3,000. And I have nowhere near that. So I already know what I'm going to be working on. He sells ore, which is pretty nice. And this dude, he sells. Well, I can sell my crops to him. So I'll sell you that. You already know you want these crab legs. You want these crab shells. Uh, broccoli, yep. Sell that. I give you these seeds. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, 30, sell you 30 lettuce. Still, I'm like halfway to 3,000. And really, that's about it. 
but that's okay. What's this? Oh, basically the jail. I guess I just have to work more on my farm, basically. Uh, let's see. I need oil and gas can in my hands for that to work. Wait, can I sell you? There's something that I have. Yeah, this. This bag. Sell that. I opened up a treasure chest. You have to build a basic key. Once you craft a basic key, you can open up the treasure chest on your farm. And they'll give you a bigger bag, as you can see. I'm missing a few ingredients to create my own potions. Can you provide these fruits and vegetables? Uh, no, I cannot. At least not right now. So what I want to do is work on my farm more and then come back. And I, actually, I want to farm up like 3000 and then get a boat and then come back. Sorry, right, guys. In the next part, I should come back when I have enough money to get this boat. And then we'll go from there and then we'll start selling. Okay, guys. Bye bye.